the continuing supplies of, mil of uh, military supplies, armored vehicles, and also instructions for uh, Ukrainian uh, fighters. And there's talk of uh, foreign um, mercenaries and foreign private military companies. Isn't this a, a violation of, of uh, paragraph 10, which provides for the withdrawal of all foreign fighting units and, mis and mercenaries from Ukraine? In Kiev, they're hardly hiding the fact that they use the Pin Minsk ceasefire to increase and redeploy their forces. Yet Russia and the separatists it trains, arms, fights alongside, and with whom it shares command and control systems in eastern Ukraine, continues to ignore this consensus, flouting the commitments it made at Minsk. It goes right on applying its playbook in new territories, as though this council and the world are too blind or too easily deceived to notice. We must not let ourselves be deceived. The consequences of Russia's contempt for Minsk and the rules undergirding our international peace and security are too great both for the integrity of the international system and for the rights and welfare of the Ukrainian people.